Hi, and thanks for joining me today. First off, happy Thanksgiving. I hope you are having a wonderful day filled with blessings. Wherever you are, whomever you're with, you are loved. I love you very much, and I am truly grateful for you. So today's message is inspired not only by our national U.S. holiday of Thanksgiving, but also by Ephesians 5.20. Giving thanks always for all things unto God. So, giving thanks, gratitude, thanksgiving, these are words we hear spoken every day of our lives. We see them in pages in magazines, e-books, physical books, newspapers, we hear them spoken on TV and movies, on radio, Sirius XM, we see them looking out at us from many internet pages, we're really lucky. We see them each time we're receiving a billing statement or making a payment online, and we hear them as we complete each in-store transaction from the cashier or the baristas who've assisted us, and we say them before the food we're about to eat. But what really does it mean to have an attitude of gratitude? What does giving thanks really amount to in action? And why does Thanksgiving take place only one day a year, and now until shopping and working on the hours instead of actually giving Majority, giving thanks is something done in response to an action, whether it's one of receiving, servicing, providing, or appreciation for something that is expected to be done and this has actually been done. Thanks is a basic and habitual action that's more of a pleasantry than an appreciation and is an expected moray that thank you be uttered in response to many daily actions and much thought isn't put into these words since they're spoken on autopilot. Customer service training requires these words to be uttered in exchange for money received, business transaction, or for someone walking into an establishment built on the business model because it's polite and it shows proper etiquette. Not because the thanks is felt in the heart, but rather to be a catalyst for repeated beneficial action. So in this case, thanks is a sign of politeness that resembles gratitude. Thanksgiving is a step up the law of attraction ladder, telling the universe to acknowledge something good has happened and the acknowledgement of favors and benefits received. And over the course of a year, there are more things to be grateful for than can be acknowledged on one day. We always hear the standard, I have so many things to be grateful for, and then this is followed by the standard family, friend, food, shelter. But Thanksgiving entails more than these simply by the definitions of favors and benefits and listing these standard words. However, I don't consider my family and friends or food or home benefits or favors. Every single one of these is a gift from God, which brings us back to the Ephesians 5.20 verse. Giving thanks always for all things unto God. Always for all things. That's a lot of thanksgiving. This verse seems to imply that giving thanks should happen all day, every day, in every action and deed. Not just when we get something move on and business exchanges occur. How thanks is distributed now, you can accurately keep count of everyone you've done throughout the day. And you'd be surprised at just how many things you've actually given out. If we follow the directions of this verse, there will be so much thanksgiving happening we would not be able to keep count and the universe would send us more thanksgiving in kind. What a wonderful day each day would be every day. See, family is not a lumpy together as a bunch of indistinguishable people. Each is a unique and special person, valuable in this life more than they could ever know. Family is more than a bloodline. It's a tribe that grows out of shared interests, causes, and goals, and sticks close no matter what happens between you. Family is forever when you meet the right members, and giving thanks for them happens daily and becomes a thing of beauty, not a pleasantry. Friends don't come and go, as the saying goes, because friends are forever. There's no change of the garb because of age or gender, identity or activity or fan. 
friends. A friend is not someone who just stays around when things are down. But a true friend stays around when you're really blessed, excelling, achieving all you meant to be, and is giving thanks throughout it all, but especially giving thanks for you. Food is more than what we sit down to eat. Saying grace, as it's called, happens one to three times a day, as Maurice states. But what if giving thanks happened before every snack, a piece of gum, a glass of water, or your favorite drink? It doesn't have to be proper or a grand gesture. Just a simple thank you for eating or drinking. Or how about giving thanks for the assembly line of people who make are having food on demand possible. The farmers, the pickers, the machinery creators, the providers, the truck drivers, the truck companies, the distributors, the boat crews, the Department of Transportation worldwide, the grocery store owners, the produce department employees, the cashier who rings up your purchase, and the bagger who makes it all nice and neat to present to you to take home. Can you imagine how many thank yous that would be and how the universe would bless those people and us in kind. Oh, I'm getting excited just thinking about it. Now, shelter that word, is a euphemism for a home or a house or a crib or a place to lay your head. And with an estimated 650,000 people homeless in the United States alone at any given time, according to facts.net, shouldn't we be giving thanks a lot more for what shelter actually is? It doesn't matter if you have one or five, giving thanks should be paramount to the start and end of our day, always for all things. Now don't get me wrong, pleasantries have their place, and if thank yous are not exchanged during actions between those we meet throughout the day, then something definitely will be lost in the translation. But we shouldn't mistake pleasantries for true gratitude, for being grateful, which is in a class of its own. And this brings me to the real end game gratitude, the state of being grateful. This means it should be a perpetual thing, constantly on our hearts and minds again. As the verse says, always for all things. Can you imagine what each of our lives would be like if we lived in the state of gratitude every day? No one would wonder if they are truly appreciated. No one would doubt their self-worth and no one would look to others for an estimate of their value. You wouldn't feel unloved. It's possible because God says it is. The remainder of the verse tells us unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is our proof that a state of gratitude, giving thanks always. Thanksgiving is possible 24-7, 365 for everyone. Just look at a few of our most prominent examples, past and present, for living proof. It is the way of life that blesses us and those around us the most. Yes, magic really does exist. So, this Thanksgiving, Make sure to have a long list of things to give thanks for, and be sure to be in a state of gratitude all day long today. For those of you who have to work on this national holiday, I'm going to be sure to give thanks for you in my prayers today especially. And for those who don't, well, it's yet another thing to give thanks for. Whether you are alone or with family and friends, today is the day. So, finally, leave the brick and mortar shopping until tomorrow. Maybe next year, stores will get the message that Thanksgiving is really about giving thanks, not business as usual. As always, I love you. Be blessed. Thank you for joining me. I am so grateful for each and every one of you. And last but not least, Happy Thanksgiving! See you next time.